Hello, good morning to all of my students. Today <coughs> we discuss some other method of preparation of alkyl halides and you will discuss some physical properties and little introduction about the optical isomerism what you required here. Last class we discussed the method of preparation of alkyl halides. The alkyl halides can be prepared easily mainly from alcohol. When alcohol when alcohol react with <coughs> phosphorus trichloride, phosphorus pentachloride, thionyl chloride or Lucas reagent. The OH group of the alcohol molecule gets converted into Cl. Okay? And the alkyl halide can also be prepared from alkene by addition reaction. When alkene added with hydroacids, that is HCl, HBr, HI, to form corresponding alkyl halide. The alkyl halide can also be prepared from alkene by substitution reaction that means halogenation that is chlorination, bromination and iodination. Okay students, today we will discuss some specific methods for the preparation that is you are another method I think it is a method number four that is your halogen exchange a reaction. In a halogen exchange reaction, we have to convert, we can be convert one alkyl type of alkyl halide to another type of alkyl halide, particular by exchange the halogen atom. Means the alkyl chloride or alkyl bromide can easily converted into alkyl iodide. That's why you can say it is a halogen reactions. In halogen reaction, you take the alkyl chloride or alkyl bromide get converted into corresponding alkyl iodide. In other words, the alkyl iodide generally prepared by the halogen exchange reaction. What you will do? You will take any alkyl chloride, you treat it with sodium iodide, means NaI, in a solvent like you are acetone. Here, what solvent? We are using solvent is your acetone. What will happen? This halogen atom get exchanged with this iodine atom. So as a result, it forms alkyl iodide plus NaCl. That is the chloride atom or chloride halogen halide get converted into iodide. Okay, students. Similarly, alkyl bromide can get exchanged with iodine atom by action of sodium iodide and the solvent is acetone. It gives you alkyl iodide plus Na. Okay, students, suppose I take I want to convert ethyl bromide to ethyl ionide. Okay, so what I will take? I can treated with this one with sodium iodide in 
ऐसी टोन वेन अल्टी प्रोमाइड ट्रीटेड विथ सोडियम आयोडाइट इन ए सॉल्वेंट एसी टोन इट रिचर्ड फॉर्म अल्के आयोडाइट प्लस सोडियम ब्रोमाइट सपोज आई टेक इथाइल क्लोराइड ट्रीटेड विथ सोडियम आयोडाइट इन एसी टोन इट गिव वट इट गिव सी टू एच फाइव आई दट इज आईडो इथेन प्लस सोडियम क्लोराइड सो जेनरली बाय हाइड्रोजन एक्सचेंज रिएक्शन यू आर प्रिपेयर द अल्किल आयोडाइड्स फ्रॉम अल्किल क्लोराइड एंड अल्किल and this reaction also known as you can know this reaction is known as finkelstein reaction what reaction it is a finkelstein reaction so now there is a question in the doubt sir <coughs> suppose i take इथाइल आयोडाइट इन ट्रीटेड विथ सोडियम क्लोराइड इन एसिटोन बिल इट एक्सटेंड द हाइड्रोजन यू कैन सर दिस आल्सो हाइड्रोजन रिएक्शन इट कैन गिव यू सी टू एच फाइव सी एल प्लस एन ए बिल इज पॉसिबल दिस यू कैन से आल्सो हाइड्रोजन एक्सचेंज रिएक्शन no it is not possible because the sodium chloride insoluble in acetone that's why this reaction is not possible this reaction is not possible that means the alkyl chloride can be converted to alkyl iodide But alkyl iodide never be converted into alkyl chloride by halogen exchange reaction. That is, our conclusion is the chloride and bromide of alkyl halide can be converted into alkyl iodide by halogen exchange reaction, or that is called Finkelstein reaction. Okay, student. That's why. We generally prepare the alkyl iodide by halogen exchange reaction. You know, one of the substance that is CFC. Do you know about this one? This one is chloro fluoro carbon. Or this is known as freons. And these freons, suppose fluorochloro is C Cl two F two. This is chlorofluoro carbon. Generally, the alkyl fluorides can be prepared by this halogen exchange reaction by using a reagent that is called Schwarz reagent. What reagent? That is called Schwarz. reagent the schwarz reagent star hgf hg2f2 cof2 these are called schwarz reagent and this schwarz reagent are used to prepare alkyl fluoride because there is no other method to prepare alkyl fluoride the alkyl fluoride can be prepared by Schwarz reaction by using Schwarz reagent. But only suppose you take alkyl chloride treated with Schwarz reagent that is AgF. This get exchanged with this one. It will gives you RF 
प्लस एजीसीएल रोमन आप दी दिसी ज्वार फ्लोरो आल्केन सपोज दी कार्बन टेट्रा क्लोराइड सीसीएल फोर मीन्स कार्बन टेट्रा क्लोराइड I want to exchange the chlorine atom with fluorine to form prions. Chlorofluorocarbon. But when I do, I repeated with this one HGF or HG2F2, it gives you CCL3F chlorofluorocarbon plus HGCL. If you again you treat it with this one with AGF, again it gives CCL2F2 dichlorodifluoromethane. That is, you can say this is freon 1, 2. Freon 1, 2 means 1 means first halogen, that is a fluorine, and 2 number is 2 means. Two number sub fluorine atom, this is called freon 1 2. Generally, the freon 1 2 are used as a refrigerant in your air coolers, sorry, air conditioner, or in AC or in fridge. So many cooling apparatus. One of the important reagent. Okay, student. This is all about the halogen exchange reaction and the halogen reaction reaction generally you can prepare the alkyl iodide from alkyl chloride and alkyl bromide and you can also prepare the alkyl chlorides from alkyl chloride or alkyl bromide by what? Schwarz reagents. Schwarz reagents. Okay students, this is the Next method of preparation, this is the method of preparation of alkyl iodide and alkyl chlorides. Now, next another method is called a specific method, specific method that is called Hans Dickes reaction. What is Hans Dickes reaction? In Hans Dickes reaction, we can prepare alkyl bromides from silver salt of carboxylic acid. From what? From the silver salt of carboxylic acid. What is this carboxylic acid? You know, RCOOH is your carboxylic acid. When the hydrogen atom of the carboxylic acid replaced by a silver atom, we can say this is the silver salt of carboxylic acid. For example, you should take acetic acid that is your CH3COOAG. This is the silver salt of acetic acid. We can say it is silver acetate. It is called what? Silver acetate. Okay? How can you prepare the alkyl bromide from silver salt of carboxylic acid? So, when the silver salt of carboxylic acid treated with bromine in presence of UV radiation and solvent is carbon tetrachloride, this group, COAG group, can be replaced by bromine. So this will give you R 
Br plus this one is CO2 and this Ag, this Br, it gives Ag, Br. This is your alkyl bromide. Okay, students? So, the alkyl bromide can be prepared from silver salt of carboxylic acid by the action of silver in presence of UV radiation means it is a photosensitive reaction and it is inert solvent like carbon tetrachloride. Suppose I will take silver acetate this is the silver salt of acetic acid and this react with bromine in UV radiation carbon tetrachloride what compound we get you see this part gets substituted by bromine what will we get you will get here CS3 that is this is CS3 R R CS3 CS3 Br plus CO2 gas plus Ag Br and this is your bromomethane or methyl Okay, students, suppose I want to prepare C2H5Br What is my starting material? What salt I will to take? So, here is CS3, it is this one CS3, here is R, here is R So, if it is C2H5, what do you take? That is C2H5 COOAG that react with bromine in presence of UV radiation CCL4 this is called silver propionate because C2H5COOH is your Propanoic acid and silver salt is silver propionate. Silver salt is what? Silver propionate. And this reaction is known as Pat reaction, Hans Becker's reaction. In Hans Becker reaction, we can prepare the alkyl bromides. We can prepare what? Alkyl. So why not you can prepare the alkyl chloride or alkyl iodide by hans becker's reaction because the hans becker reaction undergoes a <coughs> free radical substitution reaction. It is one example of free radical substitution reaction so you know the bond strength between chlorine and chlorine is higher than bromine and bromine is higher than iodine in iodine this is your bond strength that means it requires more energy to break this one as compared to this one, as compared to this one. As a free radical reaction, this is a high stronger constant, does not form any free radical. You may say that so this one is weakest bond. It can form the weaker bond, it can form the free radical I
but it react with the free radical RCO dot to form this term. That means in that case the RCO bond does not cleave. Rather, the free radical will attack to here to form the strand. That's why in Hans Dicker reaction we can only prepare the alkyl bromides, not alkyl chlorides, not alkyl iodides. Okay, students, <coughs> these are the method of preparation of alkyl halides. Alkyl halide can be prepared from alcohols, can be prepared from alkyl, can be prepared from alkyl and alkyl iodides are prepared by the halogen exchange reaction that is your Finkelstein reaction and the alkyl bromides can be prepared from silver salt of carboxylic acid by the action of bromine using inert solvent carbon tetra Okay, so the method of preparation <coughs> can be summarized. That is, we can convert the alcohol to alkyl halide, alkyl to alkyl halide, alkyl to alkyl halide by using different reagent to convert the alcohol to alkyl halide you are using PCl3 PCl5 or SO Cl2 or we can use Lucas reagent alkyl can be converted into halogen alkyl halide by the action of halogen acid in CCl4. The alkane can be converted to alkyl halide by halogenation. By what? Halogenation. Similarly, the alkyl iodide or alkyl fluoride can be prepared from alkyl chloride or alkyl bromide by a reaction that is halogen exchange reaction and the alkyl bromides can be prepared by Hans Dicker reaction by using silver salt of carboxylic acid by the action of bromine and carbon tetrachloride and this reaction is called what Hans Dicker's reaction just to remember how the group the functional group of organic molecule get converted into the corresponding halide that is chloride, bromide, iodide and some specific cases it is chloride. Okay students, this is otherwise your method of preparation of alkyl halides. <clears throat> now come to the properties. The properties of alkyl halides, there are three types of alkyl halides. The properties, sorry, before, okay, properties. The properties is your physical properties. Physical properties means we study the physical state, we study the solubility. 
to study the melting point and boiling point. And all these physical properties, that is your physical state, solubility, melting point, boiling point, all are depends on inter molecular attractive force. That means when the intermolecular, when one molecular of alkyl halide attracted with another molecular alkyl halide, that attract another molecule, so many, so many types attract you, the molecules are held together by force which is known as intermolecular attractive force. If the intermolecular attractive force among the alkyl halide molecule increases, the physical properties also changes whether it is gradually increases or gradually decreases. You know, and this intermolecular force depends upon the molecular mass. As the molecular mass increases, the intermolecular electric force also increases. So, when you study the physical state, you know, the molecular mass order of molecular mass of alkyl halide having a particular alkyl group the order is alkyl fluorides you leave it alkyl fluoride very reactive you will not study so you start with alkyl chloride less than alkyl bromide and less than alkyl iodide. So you can say the interval, the molecular mass gradually increases, the integral of force also gradually increases. So we can study the physical state that is alkyl chloride generally exists lower member means methyl chloride, ethyl chloride that is called lower member alkyl chlorides are gases higher members Higher number means increase in number of carbon atom are liquid till higher member are solid. Means alkyl chlorides can exist in gaseous state having lesser number of carbon atom or lower molecular mass as the number of carbon atom increases the physical state also changes from gas to liquid liquid to solid on the other hand alkyl bromides or alkyl iodides are existing liquid state and till higher member in solid state this is lower member and this is higher member. Do you know what is lower member? Lower member means less number of carbon atom. Higher member means more number of carbon atoms. Okay? This is the physical state. Overall, you can say alkyl halides can exist in solid state, liquid state as well as gaseous state. Lower members are gaseous state till higher member liquid state and till higher members are what solid state particularly alkyl iodides are in exist in that solid state due to their higher molecular mass okay next come to the solubility generally
एल्किन हलाइड्स आर पोलार इन नेचर Why is polar nature? Because there is a carbon halogen bond. In carbon halogen bond, halogen is more electronegativity than carbon due to the inductive effect of halogen atom. This halogen atom possesses a partially negative charge, and carbon atom possesses partially positive charge. That's why it is what nature? Polar in nature. And due to The polarity nature, these molecules are get attracted to each other. This is called intermolecular force. And this another molecule. This get attracted. This is another molecule. That means due to the polarity nature, the alkyl halide molecules are held together. That is called dipole-dipole interaction. But for that is called dipole-dipole interaction. And although it is polar in nature, but not soluble in the polar solvent like water. Not soluble in polar solvent like water. Why? Because those compounds are soluble in water, it must have tendency to form hydrogen bond. In other words, the organic compounds which are soluble in water that help to form the hydrogen bond with water molecule. For example, alcohol is soluble in water because the OH group of the alcohol molecule can form the hydrogen bond with water molecule. Carboxylic acids are soluble in water because the OH group of the carboxylic acid can form the hydrogen bond with water. But if the alkyl halide does not form any hydrogen bond with water molecule, particularly alkyl chloride, alkyl bromide, alkyl iodide. That's why they are not soluble in water. Next question: Suppose the alkyl halide is soluble in water. Means this is your water molecule, and this get attracted to the carbon atom of alkyl halide. And there is some attractive force, intermolecular force. This is intermolecular, intermolecular force between water and what? Alkyl halide. This is your water. And originally, alkyl halide possesses some intermolecular force here. This is the intermolecular. Force among the alkyl halide molecules. Suppose this force you can say F one. This force you can say F two. When this is soluble in water, means F two must be greater than F one. Suppose when you say alkyl halide soluble in water, only when the attractive force between water molecule and alkyl halide is more than the attractive force which exists between the molecule and what molecule? Alkyl halide molecule and alkyl halide molecule. But if the F1 attractive force among this alkyl halide molecule is always greater than F2, that's why. Any alkyl halide is not soluble in water. Are clear? It may be a question. Although alkyl halides are polar in nature, not soluble in polar solvent like water, 
because one thing is alkali does not form any type of hydrogen bond and the attractive force intervalle attractive force between the water and alkali molecule is less than the attractive force between the alkali molecule and another alkali molecules okay students so when it is not soluble in water then which solvent is soluble and we can say the alkyl halide is generally soluble in the organic solvent like ccl4 ch2 benzene and this is the non polar solvent the alkyl halide soluble in this solvent that's why any alkyl halide you can preserve in a non polar solvent like your carbon tetrachloride carbon disulfide benzene or any other non polar solvent okay students next we we'll come to discuss the another properties <coughs> that is your melting point and boiling point before coming to this we can discuss the density density also increases from alkyl chloride to alkyl iodide and alkyl iodide generally higher denser and heavier next we come to the dipole moment suppose you will take cs3 chcl3 and chf3 you know this is a chloroform or trichloromethane and this is a fluoroform or trifluoromethane between these two the dipole moment are CCl3 is greater than CHF3 although fluorine is more electronegative than the chlorine this is due to due to this is large size of chlorine atom that's why the dipole moment of chloroform is higher than the fluoroform now come to the melting point boiling point the melting point boiling point of alkyl halide it increases with increase they molecular mass increase the what molecular mass generally the alkyl iodide has higher boiling point or melting point than alkyl bromide than alkyl chloride you know the melting point boiling point depends upon the intermolecular attractive force as the molecular mass increases the intervalle attractive force also what increases when the intervalle force increases the melting point boiling point also increases and for isomeric alkyl halide what is isomeric isomeric means you know same molecular formula but different structures in case of chain isomer a isomer means a structure is state chain of carbon atom branch chain isomer like this one so in isomeric alkyl halide means alkyl halide possesses same molecular formula but different structure means one is state chain alkyl halide another is branch chain alkyl halide in that case the branch state chain isomer 
higher melting and boiling point then the branch chain isomer because this tag chain isomer can pack compactly very close to each other whereas the branch chain isomer mean molecules are apart from each other there is some distance between carbon and carbon atom in their packing okay student this is all about your <coughs> the physical properties of alkyl halides okay students in physical properties we have to study the physical state solubility melting point boiling point and how the melting point boiling point of isomeric alkyl halide get varies that is as the branches of alkyl group increases the melting point boiling point of the alkyl halide decreases okay student now we will study about the <clears throat> chemical properties most important what are the properties means what are the use you can use the alkyl halide in various field depending upon the chemical properties you know chemical properties depends upon the or chemical reaction is nothing but the breaking up the bond that means the bond which is a weaker that can break easily and fast as compared to a bond which is stronger for example between the sigma bond and pi bond pi bond is weaker as compared to sigma bond so the molecule which possesses the pi bond that is more reactive as compared to sigma similarly if the molecule does not have any pi bond but have sigma bonds and the sigma bond again two types one is polar and non polar the bond polar means due to difference in electro negativity that is called polar bond when a sigma bond is polar bond is more reactive can break easily as compared to a non polar sigma bond so the alkyl halides as the alkyl halide possesses a polar covalent bond between the carbon and halogen as the halogen atom is more electronegative than carbon so the carbon halogen bond it is polar polar means there is a small distribution of charge due to the you can say due to inductive effect i effect what effect this shows you minus i effect the electron cloud will withdraw this sign this will come to partially negative this is partially positive so the nature of carbon halogen bond in alkyl halide is polar when the bond is polar it became weak and is it to break means that bond can easily break as compared to the that you can say non polar bond you can see what non polar bond so during the reaction of alkyl halide the carbon halogen bond must be cleave it is agare must be cleave then this is one part this is another part when it is dissociate or decleave this become negative this is your positive so 
the nature of the carbon halogen bond in alkyl halide is polar due to the polar bond it is weak and easy to break hence the alkyl halides are very reactive okay student can you say why alkyl are very reactive the alkyl halides are very reactive due to the weak polar carbon halogen bond that's why the alkyl halides are what very reactive next question if the alkyl halides are re reactive then question arises all the alkyl halides will react same rate means the suppose alkyl chloride this is alkyl bromide and this is alkyl iodide this is a polar bond this is also polar bond this is also polar bond all are same reactive means this molecule will react more or less as compared to this one or this compared to this one which will be among these more reactive or all are same reactive no all are not same reactive there is a some gradation or there is a some order of reactivity which again depends upon the strength of carbon halogen Okay, what is strength? The strength depends upon. You see, chlorine is more electronegative than bromine. Bromine is more electronegative than iodine. No doubt, the halogen atoms possesses partially negative charge. Next question is this: This will possesses more negative as compared to this one, as compared to this one. But you know the size of the halogens the size of the halogen and iodine is larger size as compared to bromine atom as compared to chlorine atom means the bond distance between carbon and halogen that is carbon iodine bond is larger distance as compared to carbon br bond as compared to carbon cl bond that means carbon iodine is somewhat larger distance because large size as compared to carbon bromine bond because bromine is smaller and as compared to carbon carbon chlorine bond so when the distance increases between the two atom what about their attractive force the attractive force is decreases the attractive force is decreases when the attractive force decreases the bond strength decreases means here the bond strength is very weak easy to break as compared to this one as compared to this one so the reactivity orders of alkyl halide What is the order? That means the carbon halogen bond, which is weaker, least attractive force, and weaker, that will react first. So you can say alkyl iodide are very reactive than alkyl bromide, than alkyl chlorides. That's why when the alkyl chloride, alkyl 
आयोडाइट केप्ट फॉर इन ए डार्क वेसल इट लिबरेट आयोडीन वाय बिकॉज अल्किल आयोडाइट अनस्टेंडिंग डिसोसिएट टू गिव आर प्लस आय वाय बिकॉज दिस वेरी वीक बॉन्ड it can be break even though by the action of sunlight that's why any alkyl iodide always kept in a blue vessel or brown color vessel you know uh, you you use this alkyl iodide the particular the compound is you are using iodex as a analgesic when you rub this iodex iodex contain iodoform and the iodoform de decompose to give on rubbing gives you iodine that iodine molecule will penetrate through your porosity of the skin to the affected area and you know iodine is the best antiseptic it can regularize the metabolic process in your body when the cells are affected that's why the you are rubbing the iodex the iodex contain you are iodoform the iodoform and rubbing will liberate what iodine why not this one because this is somewhat stronger bond this is somewhat till stronger bond so the reactivity order of alkyl halide is alkyl iodide alkyl is alkyl iodide is more reactive as compared to alkyl bromide as compared to alkyl chloride okay students these are the reactivity order now we have study what type of reaction shown by alkyl halide generally the alkyl halide shows the following type of reaction first is shows the types of reaction first it shows nucleophilic substitution reaction so you can say S stands for substitution and stands for nucleophilic. So this is so nucleophilic substitution reaction. Second is shows elimination reaction. So you can say this is E. And third is shows A reaction with metal. Okay, students. Generally, the alkyl halides are very reactive due to the presence of carbon, halogen, polar bond. And although it is reactive, it shows this type of reaction. One is shows nucleophilic substitution reaction. and it is called elimination reaction and it react with the metal we will discuss one after one first to come to what we mean by substitution reaction and before coming substitution reaction what we mean by nucleophile you know nucleophile it is a attacking reagent what is attacking reagent which attack to the subtract molecule 
the separate molecule the separate molecule is your alkyl halide and this is the you are nucleophile and this is partially negative this is partially positive this will attack to here that is called attacking reagent and this attacking reagent nucleophile containing negative charge so nucleophiles are a new minus in first year course you know what is nucleophile nucleophile is attacking reagent having negative charge or rich in electron which will attack to the positive center of the subtract molecule so generally nucleophiles are oh minus or minus nh2 minus cn minus coo minus no2 minus these are the nucleophile you can also say halides means chloride bromide iodide these are also nucleophile but the halide is a weaker nucleophile as compared to other nucleophile okay are you clear nucleophile means it is attacking reagent carrying what charge negative charge or it is rich in electron and the nucleophile always attack to the positive center of the subtract molecule means this nucleophile always attack to the positively charged carbon atom of alkyl halide okay next and what is substitution substitution means you know one atom or group of a subtract molecule is substituted or replaced by another atom or group that's called substitution reaction so in alkyl halide the x this is your alkyl halide and react with the nucleophilic reagent this one is substituted this halide ion which is a weaker nucleophile that is called leaving group they will leave from this molecule and this is called entering group nucleophile entering group it gives you a new plus x minus and this is known as nucleophilic substitution reaction whether you say the nucleophile may be oh minus or minus and it's to minus like this one okay so the alkyl halide always shows the nucleophilic substitution reaction means the halogen atom of alkyl halide is substituted by a stronger nucleophile okay next come to <clears throat> What is the reactivity order? What is the reactivity order? The reactivity order of alkyl halide towards nucleophilic substitution reaction that is alkyl reactivity order the alkyl iodide is more reactive then alkyl bromide is more reactive than alkyl chloride now come to what is primary secondary tertiary all are have same reactivity order having same halogen no the tertiary alkyl halide is more reactive than Secondary alkyl halide, having particular halide group, 
is more reactive than primary alkyl halide. This is secondary, this is your primary. That means the reactive order of alkyl halide having particular alkyl group means alkyl iodide is more reactive than alkyl bromide than the alkyl chloride. When the alkyl halides are primary, secondary, tertiary having same halogen atom, the reactivity order is tertiary is more reactive than secondary is more reactive than primary. Okay, students. So, which alkyl halide is the most reactive? By comparing these two. The most reactive alkyl halides is a tertiary alkyl iodide is the most reactive alkyl halide. Okay students, uh, today this much only we will discuss in the next class that is class number 4 the type of substitution reaction, nucleophilic substitution reaction, what is SN1 reaction, what is SN2 reaction? Before coming to what is SN1 reaction, that is nucleophilic substitution unimolecular. And what do you mean by SN2 means nucleophilic substitution bimolecular? And to know this, the molecular, to know unimolecular and bimolecular, we somewhat we you have to know what is the molecularity of the reaction what is the order of the reaction okay and then you what is the difference between the SN1 and SN2 reaction today okay uh, firstly I forget to introduce myself myself is Dr. Santosh Kumar Chaudhary a reader in chemistry okay students this much today thank you